What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make tons of money in MedMobile 16. Alright, now I know a lot of you guys are anxious to hear what I'm about to say on how to make a lot of money, but before I get into the video, um, I just want to say like and subscribe and stick around for the full video because I was just trying to think outside of the box and you may hear some things that you didn't hear from another video because I know a lot of people do these videos and I know they all say the same things, so I was trying to think outside of the box, so make sure you stick around for the full video. And yeah, alright, so without further ado, let's get into the tips and tricks on how to make money. Alright guys, what's up? So, I'm going to show you how to make tons of money in Madden Mobile 16. And I'm going to put it in format of the more longer term users that aren't looking for specific players right now, but they just want some money so in due time they can upgrade their team and buy the players they want to and stuff like that. Alright, so let's get started into it. So... Um, first what you want to do is you can, the first tip is to get st like sets like um, Rose to the Rings and you can get plenty of rings to get certain players like Anthony Sherman, I'm one away and those will bring you in boatloads of cash. Okay, so once you, you can also do that like um, Deion Sanders for getting, you know, 100 trophies. It can be a little bit tough but I'm going to make another video on how to do that, on how to get trophies. For, um, it's really easy, and, uh, yeah, okay, so for the second tip, you want to do season play, and I know it only gives you 1,500 coins, but it's really easy, really simple, you almost always win, um, it's really simple, and then if you have, like, plus blank percent player bonus, like I do, I plus two, then, you know, it gives you that little bit of extra coins that you can use, and also, in the season, uh, season play, you get challenges, and if you complete the challenges, then you get reward cards to put in sets like, like these, the, um, the NFL moments, and the NFL moments can give you really nice rewards that you can sell in the auction house, and, uh, make boatloads of cash. The next tip is going to be in head to head. So you can play players in head to head and you can get bonuses just like you can in season play except they're the exact same and you can stick them in the sets like NFL moments and get those rewards as well. But I know that head-to-head -head doesn't bring in a lot of cash as it only gives you like 200 coins. But that's why it's good to do it because you get the challenges a lot as well. Alright, the next, last, long-term, I guess you could put it, um, tip on how to get money is... Alright guys, and for the last tip for the long-term users, you know, that are trying to upgrade their team in due time, but not right now, um, is the live events grinder. Alright guys, so you, you can, like, level up, see how I'm, I'm, I'm 77 away from, no, I'm sorry, 78 away from, uh, XP from leveling up, once you level up, you get max, maximum stamina. And with your stamina, you go ahead and play your live events. And if you play live events, then you get plenty of road signs and rings. And you and you can, like, if there's game changers or veterans packs, then you can pull elite players from that or the cards to put it in the sets to get elite players. So I'm going to demonstrate on right here since I have enough stamina just on how easy these are to complete these live events and so you can just it's really easy and you just do this a couple times and you know you get those elite road signs or those gold road signs to put in your signature sets and really simple and easy and you can make tons of money like this so let's just go ahead and finish up for an example Okay, so right here, as you can see, we're probably about to pull two road signs. If not, we're going to get, like, a silver player or something. 
But, um, yeah, we're gonna get a quick sell. But here we go, red sign. Alright, Saints, just like that. And then you can stick that in your signature pack, or you can sell it, but they're not going for too much right now because they're only like, um, <clears throat> they're only like five grand right now since these are out. Alright. Alright, guys, what's up? So now we're gonna move on to the short term users. Wait, why did I say what's up? I'm <laughs> okay, anyway, we're going to move on to the short-term users that are looking for the specific players, you know, trying to get that 100 overall team. And, okay, so to start it off, we're going to go to the sets, and you go to upgrades, and you play the large quick sells. Now, this is a big gamble, so I would not recommend purchasing the trophies to stick them in there. And, but I would do, um, you know, you could snipe some really good silver players and stick them in this and then you get the trophies from that. And if they're not the trophies you want, then go ahead and sell the trophies and, you know, you get all your money back and stuff. But, um, you know, you can pull 1,000 from this or you can pull 1 million. So it's a big gamble. Uh, most of the time you pull probably around 5,000 to 25,000, but, you know, but, uh, that's that's just one way to get quick cash if you're lucky but i do not recommend it that's why it's at the first of the list and uh yeah all right so the next one is going to be pro packs so you go to the store and you purchase yourself a pro pack and about one out of 15 times you get an elite and the elite usually makes you all of your money back and it's really easy um, to make your money back, even if you don't get an elite, just like that, I got that punter, Sam Coach, and, uh, he's easily worth about $30,000, so I just made a $30,000 profit right there, and even if you don't get a punter or a kicker like I just did, then you go ahead and you make a, you sometimes lose it, just like $1,000 from it, but, um, well, let me go ahead and close this, oops, Okay, and sometimes you usually get a double gold, which is really good, and you can sell this for about $4,000 each, so the gold players. So you go ahead and stick the gold players in there. All right, so that's already $4,000, and then you sell the silver players for 800 Oops, 800 So that's $5,600, and then... You can sell these guys. You don't have to sell them if you don't if you want to, but um, sell them for four hundred and um, so that's about six thousand dollars and that you just got, not counting the auction fee. And um, so you just lost about one thousand five hundred dollars. That's it. But even if you um, like that Sam coach, I wasn't counting him. So if you got another silver player or gold player, then uh. They can count him, and that's easy, easily your money back or a profit. So it's really good. All right, and the last but not least tip on how to make a lot of money. See, like I just sold that. I wonder what that is. Okay. Um, the last but not least tip on how to make a lot of money is the auction house and sniping people. Now there are many ways to do it. You can do max bidding for five thousand dollars and you go into a bid war and it's a little bit more tough but um it's possible to win and you never want to bid on them if they're like an hour away just set a timer on your phone for when they're going to be like three minutes and then you can start bidding on them and it's tough and you got to have a little bit of money to do that because they usually get up to about twenty thousand dollars but um make sure you do your do your research before you know you win them for like thirty thousand dollars and you can only sell them for twenty five thousand Okay, so you go ahead and bid on those if you want, but the better way to do stuff, I think, in my opinion, is go ahead and search up, you can do punters and kickers, or you can just do punters, which I recommend just doing punters, and you look them up for 25k. Now, see the Tress Way, so I would have gotten him for 25k, and let's see what he's worth. He's worth 40 just like that, 32 right there. And you can also search them up for um for 20 uh 20k, which it really works. But when the when the players drop in the auction house, it's gonna be at five minute intervals. So 
see how it's 12.32 right now. Well, the players are going to drop at 12.35 and 12.40 and 12.45 and 12.50, just like that. And they usually take about 30 seconds into that five-minute interval minute um, for them to drop. But you just want to be sitting there refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. As soon as you see it, just spam on it and then buy them right then. And um, you'll usually win, especially punters, because not that many people... Not that many people do it. All right, last and probably the best tip. Now, if you really like this game and you think you're gonna, you think you're gonna play a while and and you know it's really worth it to you. Um, this is more of an overall tip. This is a play for free, pay to win type of game. Now, if you don't know what that means, you can download it from the store for free. But somehow the EA Sports managed to like get you hooked on it and make you want to buy um, stuff like cash so you can go buy more stuff like stamina. Not full stamina, so I can't purchase any. And each full stamina cost 100 cash or 99 cash. So if I were to spend $20, I get 2,200 cash, which means I can refill it 22 times. Now, you know, some people may say that spending real money on a video game is stupid, and why would you ever do that? But if you think that you're going to play it for a while, then you think it's worth it, then, I mean, go ahead and do it. Because after buying stamina, you go ahead and spend it on your Veterans Pack or your Road of the Rings Pack and just rack up points or your Domination Pack, and you can get the 99 overall Gronk, or you can get the... You know, uh, 93 Richard Sherman and stuff like that. Alright guys, looks like that's going to do it for the tips. Um, so, if you like the video, then subscribe and like. And um, if you want to follow...